our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, putting all these numbers into perspective for us. Hey, Monica, so where does COVID now rank in Ohio for the cause of death? Well, Romney, as of the new count today, COVID is likely the seventh leading cause of death in Ohio. It has now surpassed flu. Nationwide, it's predicted to potentially become the third leading cause of death, which is disheartening considering we know the measures of how to limit the spread. And what's more concerning is COVID managed to kill more than 4,000 Ohioans in the second and third quarters of the year when the weather was decent and had us all out and about. Cold and flu season is coming, and couple that with COVID, COVID and we may have a very serious problem. The influenza is way less contagious than COVID is. And so these, these steps that we're taking to prevent the spread of COVID could actually do a ton to block the spread of influenza. And so this could turn out to be one of the best flu seasons we've ever had if people will stick with it. But I fear I fear that people won't be able to. Like they're just, they're so fatigued from it already that I, I really do worry what this winter could be like. Um, and, and that's what keeps me up at night. Wow. Monica, you know, I've heard the term twindemic as it relates to the flu and the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of people might be wondering, will the flu shot be effective? Do I need to get it this year still? Yes, everybody needs to get the flu shot. And yes, you still need to wear masks. And, you know, the flu shot is critical because there is some research out there indicating it may actually be helpful in boosting the immune response to fighting off COVID. But more importantly, we don't want hospitals filling up with flu patients in addition to COVID patients because that's obviously going to overwhelm the system. And as for masks, masks, don't quit wearing them anytime soon. They may actually help keep flu season at bay, like Dr. Edwards said, by giving us additional protection. And in fact, though, you can likely expect to be wearing those masks through 2021 because this virus isn't going away anytime soon. And we have to wait and see how effective the vaccine will be when it finally becomes available. I completely agree. I think it's going to be here for a while. I fully prepare, plan on continuing to wash my hands and wear my masks till the end of the year. Thanks, Monica. And, and distance socially. Yep, <laughs> yes. that too.